Hello, welcome to another video from Avenue X looking at Chinese drama land in the past week and we've had a crazy week. Not that a lot of things are going on, but a lot of dramas airdropped. Somehow everybody just decided, I guess, to parachute their drama into the uh, last bit of the summer holiday slot. I don't know why. It's as if all the platforms have unanimously agreed. Let's just chuck out dramas like crazy. So let's see what happened. First, on the 7th, a drama we've talked about before, Mei Gui Zhi Zhan, Rose War, Contemporary Business People, Middle Age Drama, uh, Wound Life. That's led by Huang Xiaoming, Yuan Quan, also featuring Yu Fei Hong, Dai Xu, and many familiar people. I haven't had time to check it out, and there are so many dramas ongoing right now. It's not my priority, I may not get to watch it. Then, on the 10th, Ode to Joy 3, Huan Le Song, Wound Life unannounced. It pretty much just told everyone, we're gonna air today, go and watch it. And it aired. <laughs> I'm like, what? Tencent drama. And this is an old IP since it's season one, season two. Now we have the third one, complete new cast. Not any of the old people are here. I checked out like the first half of the first episode and, and I literally got kicked out by the drama, by its absolutely gone crazy filter overexposure, super skin smooth. It really overexposed everybody to the point that my eyes hurt when I watch it at night. It's so bright for like dark pupil human here. If you have light pupil, even if you turn the screen to the lowest brightness, it's gonna hurt your eyes. It's that bright. I, I don't understand. Like what happened to post-production of that drama? So if it continues to look like that, I may not be able to watch it physically simply because it's too blinding. Like it's blinding-er than all the fantasy Xianxia dramas you've seen. Then one day after that, August the 11th, Yoku decided to just check out Bing Yu Huo, Bing the Hero, the anti-drug police drama led by Chen Xiao and Wang Yibo totally unannounced, like to the point that they didn't even mention it by like what, midday that day. It literally just put the drama on, on the day, evening, without telling anybody, to the point where not even the leading actors have done any promotional work for the drama. None of them posted anything on their social media telling people, oh, our drama is gonna come out, you know, the usual thing. Nobody did it, because probably they didn't know it either. Earlier, I heard the rumor was this drama is gonna air next week, but it airdropped totally, 100%. So now the drama is on. Uh, <laughs> I am chasing it. I am actually watching like five or six dramas simultaneously. Wang Yibo, Chen Xiao fans, uh, yeah, 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 the drama is on. Moving on from that, as this video goes live first on Saturday, it is also the same time when the uh, the fifth season of Street Dance goes live also on Youku. It would also feature Wang Yibo as one of the four team leaders. You know that already <laughs> if you've watched the first four seasons. So extra stuff to work on. <laughs> Last season, I watched the first couple of episodes and dropped out. This one depends. Then it has just been announced yesterday, I think, or the day before that on the 17th next week, the drama, second season of 二十不惑, 20 or Life On, is gonna air. Ah, oh, so much work for me to do. So it's still gonna feature most of the girls from the season one, not all of them, and then their love interests are all different. <laughs> I mean, Wang Anyu literally moved to O2 to Joy that's on air, so he's not in this story anymore, he's in that story. And then, yeah, new story, a couple of years later from those characters' life and we shall see if this time it's a watchable one. You never know until you watch it. Those are the dramas or the programs that are either airing or scheduled to air very soon, plus the ones that are ongoing. I'm gonna leave it to the end of this video. <laughs> it's, it's insanity. Let me just complain about that a little bit more, hey, before I end this video. But first, let's just talk about a couple of other things about dramas. During this week, a drama has released its first trailer. I know it's a drama a lot of people are waiting for, which is Qing Jun, Thousand Years for You. Does not matter, English <laughs> titles of dramas are so random. That's the fantasy period, multiple lifetimes, multiple dynasties, magical war and gods drama led by Ren Jialun and Li Qing. They've released their first trailer. 
in this trailer, it's original voice. So I'm not sure if at the end, it's also gonna be Yun Jia Lun's voice without dubbing. Uh, we shall see how that works out. And in the trailer, you can see multiple lifetimes, different periods of time, costumes, and the two characters. Uh, I think the closest to now time would be Ming Guo. Because I think take a step further to contemporary time, you're not allowed to have magical power <laughs> anymore. So they have to cut it at Ming Guo. We do not know when it's gonna air. And right now, I don't think it's a good time to air this type of drama just because too many dramas are airing. Okay, you don't want to join the messy bloodbath battle right now. Then there is a project that has just been announced. Its casting is yet unknown. They are casting people, uh, literally calling people in. And it looks like a super <laughs> exciting S plus Mango and Hunan television project. It's a Mingguo setting espionage drama, <laughs> as, as a million other dramas are. But this one, supposedly, they're gonna start shooting in September. And its production time is about four months, 120 days. The DP, director of photography, is gonna be the same guy who did Bad Kids and Burning Eyes. The stylist is the one who did Chang'an Shi Chen, Chang'an, Longest Day in Chang'an. The director is Night Wanderer's director. Although Night Wanderer may never see the light or they have to face swap Deng Wen, but that drama, if you've seen the trailer, you know, it looks, oh, Badass. So this is like a stardom team for the main creatives. If the script works out, it's probably one of those good pancake, the good stuff that a lot of actors are gonna fight for the roles. Then to wrap up today's video, uh, on Monday, the passing Monday, Dong Zijian and Sun Yi, 10 o'clock in the morning, send out this mutual Weibo, basically telling everybody that they're divorced. The thing is, I didn't even know they're married. <laughs> I am actually very blind to gossip and celebrity news, although I will watch dramas and stuff. I like stories more than I actually care about, you know, specific people. So, although I've said many times that I really like Dong Zijian's performance in a lot of um, more style towards independent movie type of stuff. I never knew <laughs> actually he's married to Sun Yi. They even had a child. I'm like, oh, really? What? <laughs> I never heard about that. Anyway, so that divorce now. It's just like a really well worked out plan because it happened on Monday this week, 10 o'clock morning, you know, like it's just so kind that they don't send this out over the weekend. It's just gonna make all the people who work in news and entertainment business being very unhappy because they have to work overtime on weekends and nobody wants that. So thankfully, they kindly regarded everybody's working schedule and let everyone know that they're divorced. Okay, so good luck to both of them for their future. It's 2022. Divorce is like what? Nothing <laughs> really to us now. So those are all the news items that I want to mention. That There are way too many dramas basically ongoing. So I'll let you know what happens to me just, just to give you an idea about being a drama reviewer, what it feels like. Every day when I wake up, I start to check out the dramas that's been updating. There are a couple of dramas that are been updating very regularly recently, so my, my workload is insanity. First, I start with Tang Lan Jue, Devil and Fairy. Then I <laughs> jump into Checkmate, which is also being daily updated right now. After that, yesterday, okay, being Yu Huo, being a hero, cause, cause you know, I wanna see what it looks like. So that's already eight episodes. <laughs> <laughs> for you. Yeah, and then I have to check the uh, following up Galaxy, Love Like a Galaxy, although it only airs three days a week, yesterday, Thursday, uh, it was still airing, so two more episodes, that's ten episodes. I have to catch up with Dan Xiao Gui, uh, nobody knows, which I'm starting to feel a lag of the storytelling, so I'm just not really that interested in it, uh, but I still caught up with the seven episode. So that's from five, six, seven, uh, yesterday, that's the 13th episode I watched. And then I checked a little bit back on the uh, uh, Fan Chengcheng and Lan Yingying drama. Time seems to have forgotten. I'm at episode 22 and I'm like, uh, I wanna wait till it finishes and then just watch it in one go. I don't wanna do it every day, it's too much work. But I'm up to 22. So yesterday I watched about 14 episodes. 
while I had to do other things in life, such as going out for uh, running errands, such as trying to figure out a couple of really complicated things that just popped up in my life. Aha, love it. So basically July was boring and then August is like, ah, uh, oh, I forgot. Today is Friday uh, and on China's lunar calendar, this is the annual ghost day. The ghost gate opens tonight or to this morning. I, I can't remember which is the hour that actually for it to work and supposedly at night, ghosts are walking on the streets. It's like their annual day that they can roam free. <laughs> nice. If you're watching a lot of Chinese dramas and wonder what is your priority list, are you watching like five dramas at the same time? <laughs> Probably not as... as uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I forgot. I actually checked out Ode to Joy like half an episode yesterday. So I watched that like 14.5 episodes. Right now I'm overwhelmed. When I sleep in my dream, I have multiple dramas, actors and characters talking to each other. <laughs> it's weird. Thank you for watching my X. Hope you're having a good weekend and I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.